Alors aujourd'hui, euh, je vais parler de uh, whether I think people will spend more or less money in their early retirement, as evidenced by uh, me, obviously. <laughs> Hey, on the okay. another day, another day not working for the man now. I've seen some really conflicting information on the interwebs about today's topic, right? So I figured I'd use my own anecdotal case to see uh, if it can serve as a reasonable guide for the rest of the world. Uh, the topic is how spending actually changes post the whole corporate gig thing. Uh, or blue collar work, you know, uh, just really uh, post early retirement, okay? I have to say post early retirement here because uh, that is where I am personally, so I can't really modestly talk about what actual senior retirement would be. I'd imagine it'd be similar uh, so long as my health holds up, fingers crossed, right? So the general disagreement in the personal finance uh, media is whether retirees will actually spend less or more money and how their needs will change in this new stage of life. And change, uh, change did my own spending uh, uh, in this stage of life. Okay, so I figured let's share how that went and whether I think realistically now I'm more than five years post-retirement. Uh, did my spending actually go up and down? And much more importantly, the reasons behind these emerging patterns. Okay. Anyway, if you're intrigued by what I might say, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that social media buzzwords, or whatever, because okay? I am rich enough for me. <laughs> I'll be great regardless. So the most obvious reason uh, people say, well, you know, you would spend less money in retirement is, well, work-related expenses will evaporate, right? That much is true. Personally, I uh, don't need to buy fancy work clothes anymore, but then again, since I worked at a tech company previously, I haven't had a dress code in like a decade, even while I was working, okay? So this decrease wasn't really much. Uh, I've been rocking a t-shirt and jeans for years, right? But work-related expenses extends further than that, right? In our glorious state of Texas, at least, my wifey was still commuting for the last bit of her work stint. And nowadays, now that we're both retired, we marvel at how few miles we're putting on our one vehicle, right? So transportation costs went way down. It's not just that we could drive less, but also because now we have more time, we can easily more leisurely take public transport uh, when the mood strikes, right? There's just a newly found lack of fear of being late uh, that I used to associate with, you know, potentially taking a bus that in retirement I no longer feel. Okay, now finally, a work related class that I rarely hear about, and that's not having to buy those work lunches anymore, okay? These are small things, granted, but buying even one or maybe even two meals a day around work can and does add up. Not to mention homemade food is not only more cost efficient, but just much more likely to be healthier as well. So that's a double win. Now I'll talk about uh, what type of cost has increased here, okay? This bit, I think, is probably very personal because I, I think the big big category of increase here uh, post-retirement is entertainment and relatedly travel, right? Travel basically is just entertainment, but the most costly type, right? Now, when I talk about general entertainment, I think those like hobby-related spending, for me, that's like video games and pickleball, or for my wife, you know, gardening and planting, that kind of stuff, right? These house, household type of entertainment, honestly, uh, it is an increase, but it's hardly a noticeable, noticeable increase, okay? I joke that all of these expenses added together would be equal to what we have been spending on work lunches alone, okay? So the real X factor in the increase, I'd say, is travel costs, right? Now, this probably will differ a lot depending on what every single individual wants. For us, though, we like traveling, but we're also kind of homebody, so we're not just gonna leave our uh, super fluffy cat alone for months at a time. We did do that last year for a long trip and it was quite a harrowing experience. I mean, I just don't like seeing my wife, especially missing our cat when we were away for the multiple months, right? So we have learned our limits uh, to uh, how long we were, were willing to travel relatively early on in our post fire journey. So, hey, that's more cost efficiency, right, since we're not planning on much longer trips. Obviously, there are, there is one other big item in the room, uh, elephant in the room, for all fire people uh, 
that to think about, and that's health insurance. That cost will definitely be higher in uh, post retirement. But again, that's very situational and subjective, especially here in the US. Uh, I'll just say for us, it is not that much of an increase considering the state of relative health. Uh, you know, we're still in, so we are relatively young, you know, like retirees, right? Anyway. But that's a topic for another day that I'll probably address more specifically. So, how would I have judged my total cost change, right? Did the increase and decrease kind of even out, or did one side run out? Uh, now, see, strangely, I'd say for me personally, when I was retired individually uh, for about five years, my regular recurring costs actually decreased, right? Due to the factors that I outlined, right? Because my entertainment is cheap. But since Mike joined me in early retirement, uh, that was just last year, our combined household cost has increased a bit again, due to the factors that I outlined, which is primarily dominated by you know, our, our big, uh, long, long trip travel costs, right? Now, practically speaking, I would frame it like this, right? The floor for post-fire spending is lower because you know things like work costs, it's hard to get rid of them unless you don't have a job, okay? So there's less things we absolutely must pay for. But the potential upside to spending is moderately higher. Okay? And that makes sense to me because, you know, you have a lot of free time. So how do you want to be taken up? Uh, how do you want to spend that free time? Do you want to spend it by spending money alongside? That's, again, subjective and personal. Right? Should not worry others about the pitfalls of early retirement? I actually uh, think, no. After all, when people uh, are talking about they're afraid of running out of money and Retirement, they're usually thinking about regular recurring uh, costs, right? Not superfluous types like luxury travel, right? Because big ticket items like travel, they are discretionary, okay? Anyone who can make it to any type of early retirement will know how to rein that type of spending in if, if necessary. I mean, let's say if the stock market was crashing and neither Wifey and I had a regular paycheck anymore, I mean, it would be absurdly unreasonable to then go blow a bunch of money uh, on some international trip when trips like that can simply be delayed until a later date, you know, until the market recovers. So it's, it's a pretty easy decision if we're ever in that situation, which, you know, to be, a, to be fair, uh, we haven't been in yet. So, in conclusion, should you be expecting to spend more or less once you leave that shadow of a job or like that? Well, that really depends on what your work-related cost is, what your personal health insurance situation is like at a minimum, right? And then we can move on to how we would like to entertain ourselves uh, and fill our time, right? I mean, I tell everybody that I know that I'm glad I have my parents because their favorite pastime is basically reading, and that's a really, really cheap way to entertain yourself, right? Especially if you live near a library, right? Now, on the other side of the spectrum, if you live near a casino and you've got that gambler's itch and you want to retire with some sort of pension, well, all bets are off and I wish you good luck and good riddance because, you know, gamblers can never retire. We all know this. This is why even the best poker players in the world somehow they are still grinding, okay? They're still working because easy come, easy go. That's how fun it is, right? Again, I'm sorry. Different tangent now. Okay, so how about you guys? How do you dream about what you dream about if you hit early retirement? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers. I love Roshan.